Hi. Here I would like to solve a problem on inelastic collision. The problem is ballistic pendulum. What is happening is a bullet of mass m traveling at velocity small v comes close to this block of mass capital M. The bullet comes and hits this block of mass capital M and then the bullet gets embedded into this block of mass capital M. Right after the collision this block along with the bullet they move they keep on moving upward into an in an arc and they just keep on moving until they reach a definite height so this is what it would look like you see the height h okay so this is the setup and this is exactly what is happening we have some values right here small m is the mass of the bullet which is 9.5 gram and capital m is the mass of the block which is 5.4 kilogram and h is the height at which uh, I mean the height at which basically the height reached by this block bullet system the prompt the question is to find the speed of the bullet prior to the collision that is we have to find out the speed of this bullet before the collision so we need this small v right here let's get to the technique in order to solve this problem we need to apply two tools these two tools are common tools that are applicable to any kind of collision so we can apply conservation of linear momentum and conservation of energy to any sort of collision it can be either elastic or inelastic so let's see how it goes let's at first apply conservation of linear momentum in the conservation of linear momentum we write out the total linear momentum before the collision so before the collision the only thing that is moving is this bullet so the linear momentum of the bullet is small m times small v small m times small v plus the linear momentum of the block before the collision note that before the collision the block was not moving that means the speed of the block was zero before the collision so the linear momentum before the collision of this block is capital M times zero which which was the speed of the block before the collision is equal to now we need the total linear momentum after the collision after the collision right after the collision the bullet which is embedded so right after the collision note that we have something like this
that means the boolean gets embedded into the block and they move together with some common velocity capital V so this is really important okay so we're done with uh, finding the total linear momentum before the collision so this is the total linear momentum before the collision and the total linear momentum after the collision is the total mass here which is small m plus capital M the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block times the common velocity from this equation we can see if we can find out this small v which is the speed of the bullet so the small v turns out to be small m plus capital M times the common velocity divided by small m we do have the values of these masses right here but this common velocity is something we do not have let's see if we can find the value of this common velocity by using conservation of energy conservation of energy states that the total mechanical energy would be constant we'll apply conservation of energy using these two states this state this stage is when uh, this is essentially what you see right after the collision so right after the collision the bullet and the block they start moving at this common velocity capital V and they just they then keep on moving and they end up reaching some height h so this is stage this is let's assume that this is the first stage and that is the second stage so these are the two states we can consider while we apply conservation of energy the theory is that the total mechanical energy at this state must equal the total mechanical energy at this state we know that E mech is equal to the sum of kinetic and potential sum of kinetic and potential at this state the kinetic energy is one half times the total mass times the velocity which is the common velocity squared plus potential energy at this state can be thought to be zero and at state 2 we know that speed is zero so kinetic energy turns out to be zero but due to this height h there would be potential energy so the total mass is small m plus capital M and then we multiply by gh to get the potential energy at state 2 if we solve this equation we can find this capital V which is the um, this capital V is the common velocity that we're looking for once we're done finding this common velocity capital V we then plug this into this capital V so capital V is square root of 2gh we take this and insert it right here and then we have this small v note that here we have two 
square root of 2gh h was already given so if we take this and plug it right here we have small m plus capital M times square root of 2gh divided by small m and we do have all the values we need if we plug those in there we are able to compute small v and small v is the speed of the bullet prior to the collision prior to the collision means before the collision thank you